Hey everyone, welcome to episode zero. Fuck! <laughs> Amazing first start, anyways. Amazing first start. <laughs> this is perfect already. Welcome to episode zero of the sandbar, where basically anything and everything goes. Essentially, like, no, nothing's held back. There's no fun in having things held back. Anyways, with that being said, your first relationship, how how is that? Everyone has a uh, interesting first relationship, I guess. My first relationship. When was uh, it? When was it? First off, let's just start with that. It was. Was it kid? Grade. <laughs> fourth grade was my first relationship. Is it even a relationship at that point? I don't know. Like. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's not like a, I guess, like a real relationship. I like what you guys? Say. You guys held hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we held hands and stuff. For real? <laughs> yeah, dude. I was a pimp back then. <laughs> <laughs> back then <laughs> what happened lost your game okay we don't talk about that. yeah 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 okay I have game. <laughs> whatever <laughs> uh, no, yeah you're... sure okay so fourth grade what you had what was it like because i know some it's elementary funny. schools somehow have like multiple girlfriends so what were you that one one girlfriend you said where you were a pimp so no well it was just one girl one girl but okay this girl was way taller than me Oh yeah, because you're short. Like, what are you? Five six? Five seven. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. But, yeah, but she was tall, dude. Like for our age, she was pretty tall. But it was after school. Like she asked me out. It wasn't oh even my me bad. Her. My bad. Yeah, dude. But it was after school. We were just walking, and she comes up to me out of nowhere, like. You know, just starts like, hey, I like you and stuff. So I was like, sick. You know, I like you too. <laughs> so then we started going out, I guess. You guess? I guess, dude. It's not like a like a real relationship. And so so how long did that um relationship last? Man, I don't even remember. Because I remember um, I used to hang out with the, this one girl. Oh. Which I'm not going to say the name. Oh, there's another girl. Yeah, but she, I don't think she liked her at all. Like, she made me break up with her in a way. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you had your fourth grade relationship ended by, um, by girl problems. By girl problems, yeah. It wasn't even just, like, he runs faster than you. There's nothing you can, like. like <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> Dude, no, that's how some people were, like. It was so funny, and in, in uh, my elementary school, people would do that all the time. They're like, well, he's faster, what can I say? Like, oh well, <laughs> like, what? Yeah, no, I remember that's how, that's kind of how the popularity went. If yeah. you were faster, you were more popular than everyone else. So, were you fast? Um, not really, I was, I was pretty, pretty chubby. I was a chubby kid back then. I still am, but back then I was pretty big for my age and and this girl that you hung out with she made you and and your relationship so you didn't even get a say or or was it just like eh, whatever i don't really well, understand i'll just end it because i would hang out with my friends and then she would just follow oh that's never and then good. my girlfriend or whatever at the time she would hang out with me yeah and we were in these like weird monkey bar things and then this girl starts like talking smack to my girl at the time <laughs> and like just drama starts up out of nowhere oh my god yeah like it was stupid like we just like i don't know we just uh, stopped talking so it like, was completely. it was during fourth grade you said yeah you during those times do you think the teachers know most of what goes on um, like, you think the teacher was like, aware of your fourth grade relationship? No, I really doubt it. Really? Why yeah, do you say that? I really doubt it. Well, because they usually hung out mainly where they were shade. <laughs> so that was like near the buildings. <laughs> yeah, so this, like, the shade it, changes everything. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to like the basketball court and the field and so on, there's like no one out there. Yeah. So like you could, you could be doing some shit and people wouldn't know. Okay, well. You're in yeah, but 
Yeah, but I later later on I I uh I caught up with her. I met I saw her at a where was it? I think it was Cardenas. For real? Yeah. How that go? I saw her. Uh. Rekindle your fourth grade flame. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't really say it like that. I mean, we just like said hi and talked for a little, but you know, I had to go. Yeah. My mom was waiting for me, so. <laughs> There wasn't really anything, but we we followed each other on Instagram, but we never talked. Yeah, I um I feel like during during your elementary schools mainly and and high school, middle school, I feel like teachers just don't care. But elementary school, I feel like these teachers always know about like the little little petty drama that goes on between classes. Were you guys in the same class? That's that's what will really help it. Were you guys in the same class? No. Okay, we then weren't. your teachers probably not fully aware. But no, I feel like most teachers most of the time. Um, at least at my school, they were very on top of that. Like, mm-hmm. sometimes they would sit you together on purpose because, um, if you were, if you like someone, most, most girls would get awkward, so they wouldn't talk as much, but then the guys would get all loud, so they would, like, separate them like that. Oh, you were in one of those schools. Yeah, so, so they were, like, if they knew someone liked someone else and they would be <laughs> quiet around them, they, they would sit right next to each other. And it would be so funny sometimes because you see, like, Fourth grade, you would see these people like terrified because they're sitting next to someone that like at that time they they like them so they like idolize them. That's the way they see it. That's funny. And it's just no, seeing it them a, freak out. It was never like that. I really? Not where I was at. No, it no. didn't seem like that. Like people were very like open. I don't think my teacher liked me. <laughs> In fourth grade. I don't think any of my teachers liked me. <laughs> <laughs> I always looked out. Oh my! I remember one time in first grade, um, um, me and my cousin were in the same class, and we were kind of friends with everyone. Mm-hmm. But for whatever reason, when you're in line, they don't want you talking at all, which doesn't make sense. So you're not learning or anything. You're just kind of standing in line. Yeah. So we're in line. Us having the same last name, we were, um, we stood right next to each other. So and like the alphabetical yeah alphabetical thing? yeah so th- but the way it works is since you're going to the cafeteria it's not like where once you go to middle school or high school it's just like oh if you want food you can get it no you have to get food in elementary school because like they think children don't know when they need to eat which i probably wouldn't doubt it but they would make you get food so if you wanted to get the good food you had to pray your name was like a b or c <laughs> but with my last name being all the way on the lower end like it just didn't work out but then me and my cousin got in trouble for talking in line when we were walking to go get lunch. So then they sent me to the very back of the line. I remember always getting those burnt chicken patties at the end of the day. Never ate good in first grade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no. I don't know. And well, I went to three different elementary schools. I went to one. So all of them were a little different than one another. When that's, it came to lunch. That's true, that's true. Yeah, no. but um I know my first elementary school uh Jenny went there and I didn't even know she went there. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah, so I was cleaning out my room cuz I was looking for my social. <laughs> yeah. Cuz I didn't know where it was at. Then I found a picture of one of my I think it was a kindergarten class. And there was a little girl that looked exactly like her, so I hit her up, and it it was her. Oh no, nah. those those kindergarten photos are terrifying. Mainly because for me in kindergarten, I couldn't smile. So like, I had a really ugly smile, and oh my god, it looks like. Um, I have a photo from, uh, uh kindergarten, and it looks like I'm smelling nasty cheese. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's just so off to show you someday, but it's just awful. It's just completely awful. And um, now, uh, the name, the name, my first name's the same on it. My last name's different on it. So, that switch. So, I'll have people text me sometimes that are barely, like, we're finally talking, and they're like, wait, you look familiar. Da, da, da. They're like, is this you? And they send me that picture. I'm like, no, never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like, dang, they even have the same name as you. I was like, what's the last name on it? They're like, oh, no, it's not your last name. I'm like, yep, nope, never seen it before. <laughs> like, oh, that's great, dude. 
I was like, I have no clue that kid is. And I had like a buzz cut and everything, so. (laughs) Hey, were you like a trouble, a troublesome kid or no? No, I mean, I one time had to turn my car to purple, which is like the worst color. Card? What do you mean? You know, in kindergarten you didn't have cards. Like no. to determine how, what your behavior was on that, like on the day. What what kindergarten did you go to? The way the way it worked for us was, you would start off at green, and if you did something a little messed up, you'd go to yellow. But if you did something like awful, you would go to like purple or red. And uh, re- I remember this one time, I was playing with my homie, and me and him are friends now today. We were playing together. He'll always deny this story, but. Um, we had they gave us like legitimate blocks like building blocks what do you think a kindergartner is gonna do with that i'm trying to get his attention he's not looking over at me i chuck a cinder block at it like a like a building block at his head <laughs> like a building block at his head and yeah the teacher like i had to take that walk of shame to go turn my car to purple <laughs> and i was like oh man i think at that point they like call your parents and explain to them what happened um oh, but, really? yeah it was it was cool I wasn't really a, a troublesome kid either, if I'm honest. But yeah, you just had a girlfriend in fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, fifth grade, I did have a relationship that lasted a little. Like a legitimate one? Yeah, it was pretty legitimate. It's, we it's... never kissed or anything, <laughs> but I think I think it was pretty legit. It's crazy the jump from fourth to fifth grade, how things are very different. Like um fourth grade everything's treated like a joke then fifth grade you're like preparing you for middle school so everyone's trying to get serious and everything yeah but no so how no. long how long did that relationship last uh that's the, like uh man i don't even remember was it longer than a week it was way longer than a week way long mm. months it, w- it was months. Oh, Because no. I remember, um... And you guys just hugged for, like, and held hands for, what, like, three months? No, we went through, like, all the phases where you'd, like, sit next to each other, and then <laughs> all of a sudden you're, like, holding hands, hugging. And, and... then we were... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. So, so at that point, do you think your teacher at least knew? Do you think your fifth grade teacher at least knew you guys were dating? Yeah, they, they definitely knew. And would they... Did you guys have the same class? No, we didn't. We had what different is, classes. What's, what's your deal? You don't like people in the same class as you? Well, well maybe they don't like me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> whatever. No, but we were getting to that stage where uh, it was like, oh, we're going to kiss this day or whatever. A day? You said a day? Yeah, like, it, <laughs> it, was, it went like that. Like, oh, because I remember at the time, um, the only way we could communicate was through Facebook. <laughs> a fifth grader having... with facebook huh a fifth grader with facebook was it your facebook account or was it was like your Hell mom's yeah, it, was my it was yours yeah i didn't get facebook till this year really yeah no i've been having facebook oh my god my gosh. picture on there and everything <laughs> but no i remember being in this little like uh group chat with my friend group and and her friends and oh, we were like good. setting, they were all setting up like a day when we were just gonna like meet up and then just kiss and stuff. And I, I thought it was pretty funny, but we never ended up kissing. What, you wimped out? No, um. No, I, don't, I actually don't remember if we did. But I know what? that once we hit like middle school, we were still friends. Like we weren't together. We were still friends, and then she ended up moving. We just lost connection. In middle and then school? I, I went with some other girl. Oh, all right, all right. In middle school, what what kind of middle schooler were you like? I was very troublesome. Troublesome? Like like athletic troublesome kid or just like nerdy book um, troublesome? Uh, well, I wasn't really the best one there. I mean, I never did my work for sixth grade. I did, but then I got kicked out of band. Oh, oh, you're a band kid? Yeah, I was, I was that type of kid. I was a band kid. What, what, um, what instrument? Clarinet. Oh, okay, Squidward. Um. <laughs> okay. 
That's Just because the... I couldn't get a trumpet. I wanted trumpet really bad, but they filled up. Who plays the trumpet? I wanted to play the trumpet, dude. That shit was sick. You're better being Squidward. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> no, no, so... I got kicked out of band for not... Because we had to do this, like, um... These practice logs, and I would always, like, forge the signature of my parents. Because your parents had to sign it. Yeah. At the end of the week. Yeah. And I would always forge it. Like, I'd be doing it in class, and my teacher <laughs> called me once. Ah, oh, so you didn't even slick. Like... Hell yeah. He was just not having it. And <laughs> right on the spot, I got kicked out. Like, I had to go to office to change my schedule. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, luckily, you got out of there. Yeah. To be honest, no, I was like... you wouldn't get no, no people with the clarinet. Well, there was this one girl. You she pulled was... someone with a clarinet? Huh? You pulled someone with a clarinet? No, I didn't pull Oh, okay, her, but... I was about to say. But, dude, like, she's, uh, well, like, in high school, she was, like, one of those very popular girls. Oh, God. And, like, in middle school, she was pretty popular, but it was very weird for popular kids to go into band. Yeah. And she was in there, like, um, we had our roles of how we were uh, sitting, and I was in the... I was right next to her, so all the time, dude, I was always talking to her. So you did band in high school? Hell no, dude. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm ta we're still talking about middle school. Oh, okay, so you guys sat together in middle school. Yeah. But then you got dude, kicked it was out. Like, huh? But then you got kicked out of band. Yeah, but then I got kicked out. Did you ever so talk never... to her? Well, uh, yeah, we had the same, we had, a. Uh... I think it was three or four classes together. How how'd the conversation go with her? Like that you were getting kicked out of band. Uh, I mean it was, it wasn't really like that much. It was just plain and simple, like plain I'm out. Simple. Yeah, we still had classes together, so it didn't really matter. That's true. That's true. No. Yeah, but uh, in... once it hit, once it hit like seventh grade, like your friends group changed. Oh no, for sure, a hundred percent. Yeah, for for me in middle school, <coughs> I started off in um. What what is it called? Honors. I hated it. That was. Uh, you. I'm not gonna lie. I had honors too. But it's not because I was smart. You took one test and you knew what a square was, and they would give you honors. Like, it, oh, no, it, <laughs> it wasn't that was, difficult. No, mine was because I was smart. No. Was, yeah. Had, so they gave you the test in like third grade, and in third grade, I think they called it like gate or something, gifted and talented education, something like that. And the test, they gave you an hour to take it, which you're in third grade, that feels like three years. So I'm mean, <laughs> we you're taking this test. And most of these questions are like simple. So whatever, you you pass, you get into the gate. Then you then you stay in gate until you decide to leave or go to, into honors. Middle school, I went into honors and the first year I did it, I could not do it after that. The people in there were so stuck up, they acted like they knew everything. Most of the time they were wrong about half the answers they were giving. So I knew I was the real smart one, but I personally did not care enough to be like, oh no, this is the real way to do it. I'll just stay quiet and just watch them all like yell at each other how they got 14 and 22 in math or whatever. Like it was just not worth it. So after sixth grade, I ended up leaving. Then I started watching anime, and then uh, it's downhill from there. Downhill. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish nah, I could say uphill. No, nah, eighth grade is when like I really started to not care. Like I was. In the office, twenty four seven. Mm, for My what? Parents were like, just like stupid shit. What's like, the worst uh, thing you got in trouble for? The worst thing? Yeah. Is probably arguing with the teacher. For real? You yeah, never fought in middle some... school? Huh? You never fought in middle school? I did fight, but it wasn't in school. It was outside of school, so they didn't really find out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And plus, because at the time, like, a lot of middle schoolers don't really have phones. Oh, so no one was recording with their so shaky no hands. no one would record it, yeah. You had to be there. You had to live <laughs> in the moment, dude. <laughs> It'll live in the moment? No. Yeah, but, yeah, I think that was probably the worst thing I got in trouble for, but it was, like, a constant thing. So, it so got it just to started a point adding up. where, it got to a point where um, the principal would wait for me at the entrance of the school. <laughs> yeah, like, I couldn't go... Like, to my friends, I couldn't do anything. Like, I just had to go straight to his office and just stay there all day. He would walk in, he's like, what teacher are you going to argue with today? 
Which you know, one? Like, it wasn't even like <laughs> that. You would, like, just be like, oh, you're here. You could go step in my office. It's open. Like, it was just, <laughs> I just had to be there. I couldn't go to class or anything. That's and awkward. Then, like, they would be, like, uh, students from my classes taking me work and stuff so I could do it. That's awkward. Yeah, it's very awkward. And then that's kind of where it went kind of downhill. Because then, uh... Like sophomore year towards spring, I got kicked out of high school. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I don't know. Middle middle school, I finished sixth grade year with pretty well off grades. The only class that I struggled with, not really struggled, but I like let slip. So it looked like I was not as smart as I seemed. Was English because that's the biggest one that they expect you to be good in. Mm. And then the next year, they were like, they told me, they were like, look, we can take you out of honors completely, but, or they like, we can't take you out of honors completely. You have to take one honors class. They said English or social studies. I, me being the dumb kid I am really chose social studies. <laughs> oh, it was awful. We had this vocab matrix. The teacher was funny. The teacher, the teacher was amazing, but the work that she would give was awful vocab matrix i hated writing i hated writing in general just because i can't write my handwriting is mm -hmm. awful i can barely write my name uh, <laughs> but yeah so then seventh grade i did one more class in eighth grade they finally just gave up they were like no you don't have to take honors because um because i barely passed that class at the end of the year i had a d the whole year and then like through like oh, three weeks before i'd like raised it up to i think a c plus right before the school year ended so i passed but they were like, nope, you don't have to do it anymore. Get out of honors. You don't deserve, you don't belong here. Uh, but I never got in trouble. Only like two or three times. I got an ISS twice. Oh, I, I was in ISS all the time before I was in the office. Oh, but I, got, I punched a kid, which is why I ended up in ISS. Oh, really? I gutted him. And, um, and then oh, I got, wow. he told me to. Are you serious? No, okay. So, <laughs> I, it, this was this was eighth grade. I remember it was eighth grade because I the first two years of um, middle school I had the same PE teacher, but eighth grade it changed. So we were we were walking around, and at the end of class, once you finished like your workout or whatever, they would have you walk around laps around the basketball courts. Uh, so you were just, you were just able to talk to your friends the whole time afterwards. So we'd rush okay. through, walk around, and talk to some of our friends. This guy that I hung out with, he was. He was whatever. He just kind of followed us around. Cool, whatever. I'm telling a story, and he's like, and the story is about like me getting punched in the chest, which I was like, yeah, it was painful, whatever. And he goes, oh, give him a demonstration. Show me, show me. I'm like, what do you mean show you? I'm not gonna punch myself in my chest. He's like, punch me. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, he's like, punch me, punch me. I'm like, okay. So knowing that I don't want to hurt this kid because this kid's already a crybaby, everyone knows he is. Um, I just boom right in the stomach, and I like I pull back my punch right before punching him. So like I'm, I like I act like I want to punch him full. Then right before I hit his stomach, I stop for a second, then connect. Yeah. He fell to the floor. Are you serious? He he dropped. He he was crying, and um, I don't like. From what I know, he started crying. They blew the whistle to go um, to, to go back into the locker rooms to change. And I was like, <laughs> I didn't even ask why if he was okay. I was like, hey, we gotta go, we gotta go change. <laughs> like we gotta go. And he he just stood there and waved at me. He's like, I'll go in a second. So I was like, okay, whatever. I left him. <laughs> I left him there at the edge of the basketball courts. Went into the he locker just room. Left him there yeah. on the floor, or he was like, yeah, I just left him on the floor. No, I left him on the floor. <laughs> what do you mean? The kid told me to punch him. Now he's crying about it. Whatever. Uh, so I left I would him have there. Helped him up or something. Ah, oh, screw this kid. <laughs> <laughs> so then we, I went into the locker room. I changed, and as I'm walking out, my PE teacher comes up to me, and he points at the kid over on the floor. He's like, "Did you punch him?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, why?" He's like, "He's over there, really hurt." Da, da, da. There's gonna be consequences of this. I'm like, "Obviously, he's crying on the floor. He couldn't get up fast enough, so there wouldn't be." Like, <laughs> now I'm gonna get caught. <laughs> So, so I go to my next class, um, which is science after that, or not science. It was, uh, what class was it? Um, third, I think it was English. I don't know. 
anyways, by the time I ended up in science, they finally called me into the office. This is like now fifth period. So I went from third to fifth period. It's been like two and a half hours now, at least, at least. So now we're, I'm in fifth period. They call me into the office. Uh, they, they, they didn't do calls. They had sent slips for whatever reason. They sent slips. They liked wasting paper. Mm -hmm. They sent a slip. I go to the office. I go sit down and the principal, she's new this year. She sits down and she's like, Dominic, you have nothing wrong with your record, da, da, da. but you punched a kid today. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, I know. I punched him. And she was like, she was like, do you realize what you did? I was like, yeah, I punched him. And she like points towards the, um, what, what, what is it called? The nurse's office. Yeah. He's laying there on the beds that they would have stretched out where you can lay on, like if you wanted to fake being sick. Uh -huh. He was bawling his eyes out still two and a half hours later. Are you serious? I was like, this kid has to be joking. There's no way he just like wants me to get in trouble. He wants me to get in trouble. She's like, we're going to suspend you for three days, but since you have nothing wrong with your record, I'll give you one day of ISS. I was like, okay, <laughs> whatever. I didn't really care. I was like, okay. So I called my mom after. I'm like, hey, I got ISS tomorrow. She's like, for what? I was like, the kid told me to punch him in the stomach. <laughs> so I did. And he snitched. Like, I don't know. You never know. You probably really did hurt him. I mean, he was homies <laughs> with me a week later again, so. What? Unless I'm not. Are you serious? Yeah, no, me and him are kind of homies. So, like, we talk every now and then. But, um, yeah, so That's then that hilarious. happened. Yeah, then, like, two weeks later after school, I was on containers. They caught me again, and she sent me to ISS. That one didn't go on my record. She was just like, go tomorrow and we'll forget about it. I was like, okay, whatever. I wonder, I'm pretty sure all my stuff was on, is on record, but I never like checked or anything. 85 accounts of arguing with teachers. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, like, I, it was, it was mainly with my, uh, my social studies teacher, dude. Why? She was a bitch. <laughs> just let them teach. No, dude, like. She was Italian. Okay. She had some attitude, dude. <laughs> the most attitude you like worse than uh than the coworker that we work with. Yeah. Like way worse. Yeah. But she would always pick on me. Even when <laughs> I'm doing when I was doing my work, she would pick on me for no reason. Look, it's so funny. I, I would just get tired of it, so I would talk back to her and uh there was one time when I got up and like threw my shit. And she got like, I don't know if she got like scared or something because I was going to do something. <laughs> but I was just mad. Because it was like a, like a daily thing. Like once I come in, it's like, oh, I'm going to pick on this kid. I don't know, man. That, I don't know. That's just how teachers are sometimes. So what, your teacher got scared because you threw down your bag? Uh, I threw down the, do you know those, those fat ass social studies books? Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Like threw it and it hit the wall so it was like kind of loud and i guess like she got scared of it or something so like security had to come security came like on their bikes in the hallways and shit. <laughs> <laughs> they came to uh come get me and take me to the office but like never understood I why really I never understood why they had those bikes dude i i had this one teacher in seventh grade so unaware of her surroundings um was it seventh? no it was sixth grade it was sixth grade this was when i was still in uh, gate classes it was in sixth grade. I know because this guy disappeared after um, after that year. Um, sixth grade, we had this one teacher. All she would do is like, it was a math teacher. She would cry, all the time. Just cry. Yeah. Um. I I can't remember for what, but something happened. She would cry. Whatever. But she was so unaware of her surroundings that we literally had two kids get down in the back of her class, like just start fighting. And then all of a sudden, they go from one end of the class to the other end, back to the other end. Just straight out fighting. And, like, us sixth grader, I, I had a Nokia phone at the time. Wait. I had a Nokia. So <laughs> I was over here. Not, not like, like a landline Nokia. Not like one of those. Not like mm -hmm. one of those indestructible ones. It was like a smartphone. Yeah. I had a Nokia, and I was over here recording on my, like, 380p quality. <laughs> this, this whole thing go down. It was the funniest thing. And they didn't fight because they didn't like each other. They just started fighting because they thought it was funny and then it, the best types of fights dude. yeah it, it would turn into a fight that, like oh it's funny and then they didn't know when it stopped so they kept going and then they got upset with each other so they kept going even more i was yeah, like oh my god serious and serious. yeah then finally the teacher looks up from her desk and she's like just just has that surprised teacher look on her face where she, jaw just drops and she's like shaking her head back and forth like in amazement that she like 
unbelievable that what she's seen. And she gets up. She's like, she's like, what do I do? What do I do? Da, da, da. She picks up the phone. And you can hear it. Like, normally you can hear them press down the phone. You can hear her pick it up. You can hear the button, like, release all quick and everything. And she starts dialing security. They pull up, and they take the kids away. And they got suspended for, like, a day. Oh, a day, dude? Yeah. In my middle school, you were suspended for a week. Really? Yeah, dude. They... Well, uh, I went to Raymond Creek, so it wasn't really like the best middle school, I guess. People would always say that it was like a bad school. Yeah. But I don't know. But yeah, we we would get suspended for a couple minutes. No. It was mainly like ISS, but when you get suspended, it was like a week or so. I think my school realized that um, getting suspended would absolutely do nothing because you enjoy it. Dude, I would get... Especially ISS. ISS, you're stuck in school, though. Suspension, you're home. You get to play on your Xbox, playing Modern Warfare 2. Like, bro. He... Nah, with my family, if I was suspended and I was at home, I had to go to work. Oh, no. If I was home, I would just sleep. Man, must be nice. Well, I never, I got, I never got suspended. Suspended. I would just ISS, and then days that I just wouldn't show up, I would just stay home. No, even when, like, I would say I'm sick, my mom would be like, okay. And then next thing you know, we're, like, driving <laughs> to my dad's job because she's going to drop me off to go work with him. Oh, my. Yeah, like, I couldn't have a, like, even if I was, like, really sick, I had to go to, to work. I had to do something. Yeah. I couldn't just stay at home. Yeah. Well, what about high school? What year did you graduate? Mm. You don't remember the year, I, what was 2020 but since i graduated early i was out already in 2019 in december graduated early after getting kicked out of high school you know it how'd you manage that i just got too many credits <laughs> oh my too smart yeah, I, think I, like, uh, I think it was like 20 or 30 credits over really yeah so i just ended up having i think it was like uh I think it was like three or four classes a day. Really? And then I would go home. Yeah. I have this one girl that I know. She graduated early. She graduated this year, but we're we were supposed to graduate next year. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm barely entering my senior year, and I already dislike it. I don't want to go back to school. I was fine with that whole Zoom thing because I got to sleep. Yeah. I would sleep and then play Valorant <laughs> all day. That's that's not healthy. No, yeah, so that's why I started working. <laughs> <laughs> started no, working. Like, I can't play games that long. No, no, recently I've been so burnt out on them. There's nothing good out. There's nothing worth playing. And even if it uh, is worth playing, I uh, can't. I'm maybe waiting for... Uh, you say Battlefield. Or <laughs> Forza Horizon. Forza? Yeah. I have four. I'm trying to get the new one. And then, yeah, I'm waiting for Battlefield 2. Battlefield looks sick. Yeah, forget both of those. But why? I play Battlefield all the time, so. Not all the time. But I play it. It's pretty cool. Alright, alright. So, so for high school. Okay, that's what we were talking about. So we just drifted off into random games. But for <laughs> high school, what. You said you got kicked out. What was the reasoning for that? Was it just low credits? A fight? Like, what happened? low credits like really low like really low yeah and we were sophomore uh before spring break yeah i only had i think it was like 25 credits bro that's like three classes <laughs> yeah i had like 25 or 35 i don't remember but i remember coming home one day and my mom's like waiting for me pissed because <laughs> she got a letter from the school that i was getting kicked out <laughs> I was being sent to a different school. It is what it is. But, no, I, I personally like the the other school. Even though it was like small and like people made it seem like it was where all the druggies and shit go. Um, the teachers there and the staff were very uh they would be uh very engaged with the students. Really? Yeah, like they would actually do their job. Because they felt like you guys needed it. Um, <laughs> I guess yeah, in a way. <laughs> that's why. That's why they sent you there. They were like, "Oh man, this kid." 
a little well, bit slower really than the others. I know what I was than... doing. I just chose not to do it. <laughs> They're like, he's a little bit slower than the others. We gotta it's send him. Like... We gotta send him some real teachers. <laughs> like... <laughs> no, like the teachers there were very cool. Yeah. Um, like I told you, my my art teacher, she's a, she's a streamer. I don't know if she still streams. For but real? she's the one that got me into like PC. For real? Yeah, she was like, uh, I was on Newegg and she would like, um show me all the pre-builds that I could buy. Yeah. But I ended up buying just a building it myself. Oh, alright, alright. Yeah, but it was pretty cool. I was in this class. I was a... I was a math lead. You gotta go. <laughs> you gotta, <laughs> I'm being a math lead? A, a math lead. Not like a regular fucking athlete. I was a math lead. They said, they said, this kid is too dumb for our school, so we're gonna send him to, um, what do, what do they call it? C school? That's what they call it, right? Yeah, continuation school. Yeah, so they, we're gonna send him to C school so he can become a math lead. <laughs> yeah, I was literally a math lead. My what? teacher, my teacher is like, uh, she likes math a lot, and she's still learning more math. Like, that lady's crazy. <laughs> but I was doing math, and she saw that I was, like, good at it, so she kept putting me in all her classes. And I went up to Integrated Math 3. Yeah. And then from there, we just started, like, taking all sorts of random tests. And then she made this uh this shirt for our class. <laughs> like, an exclusive shirt. Wow. Yeah, I still have it. The shirt makes but, it official. Yeah. And I was literally... <laughs> A mathlete, dude. That's what everyone knew me as. That, I don't think that's a good thing. It's not, dude. Like I was like, I was a nerd, dude. Like I was identified as a nerd. What about PE class? How was that for you? Um, well, sixth and seventh grade, I had a uh, weight training. Sixth and seventh grade. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, ninth and eighth. And, what the fuck? Ninth and tenth. I was about to say, they didn't even offer weight training for us. <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't know what the fuck happened, but yeah. Ninth and 10th grade, I had weight training. And then in 10th grade, before I was kicked out, that's when I joined boxing. Boxing? You can fight? Yeah, yeah I know how to fight. Dang, my bad. Yeah, but I was like really, I wouldn't say fit, but I was pretty fit. And then once I went to uh, to C school, I got really fat. You just said I wouldn't say I'm fit, but I am fit. Like, yeah, I mean I wasn't like fat, and I wasn't fit. I was like in between. And um, in my freshman year, all I remember doing at my first part of my freshman year before I transferred, all I remember doing at that school is football at the end of the like end of the semester and um. And dodgeball. We would play dodgeball every Friday. With um, oh, really? it would be the freshmen because we were such a large group against every other grade. So it would be like the one class of freshmen that we had, and then every other grade that was like weight training, um, normal PE, like just what they would do, scattered with yeah. us. And That's uh, sick. yeah, no, it was cool. Um, except when they have some weight training people who can lift some unbelievable amount, throw a dodgeball at you and have it dome your head other than that it's amazing <laughs> those dodgeballs I to, hurt i used to be able to squat a lot i can't do anything so i got no muscle no like the the group that i was in the one of the guys was huge <laughs> and what's it called your your brother knows him because they weren't wrestling together. oh okay but that dude was huge and he he did not let us like go easy and try to build up to his level like he straight up just put two plates on each side and we had to do it <laughs> he said good luck <laughs> that's literally what he said <laughs> but um yeah i was able like after a while i was able to lift a lot but then i'm like weak now i'm all grunge. did did i ever tell you about the um the incident that happened freshman year in the locker room it wasn't really an incident. It was really funny though. I don't um, think so. There was there was this one guy in my class. I think his name was Jake. Homie was like we knew him as the guy that looked like a lumberjack. He would wear the red flannel. He had a beard already. He was a freshman. He had a beard. Damn. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. And he uh, like, like not like full on beard, like kind of stubble. 
and he had um semi long hair, not like not long like ours, just shorter than that. And um he thought it'd be hilarious. He got um he got milk or juice from breakfast. He thought it'd be hilarious to chug it over to the senior side. I don't know what what came upon him and be like, let me just grab this juice and throw it at the seniors that are twice our size. And by that time I'm already like five nine. And there are then they're still twice our size. Yeah. Like and he thought, yeah, I'm gonna throw it at them. Like I swear this kid that the kid that came up luckily, he was like five six and on the chubby side, so I wasn't really worried. <laughs> but if one of the last six four buff dudes came up, I was like I, I don't know this kid, I'm sorry. He's just in my class. <laughs> like, <laughs> but no. No, I don't know why I would never mess with the seniors. No, never. I'm not dumb like that, but still he was like he's like, watch this. I'm like, what? He grabs it, boom, it's gone out of his hand is immediately it's over to the other side. You hear like it start spilling on the floor. And this guy comes over and he has the juice box in his hand. He's like, Who threw it? And I'm just minding my own business changing. Cause you know, we're in the locker room. So, so we have to change. Oh and... my god, the locker room would smell like axe. <laughs> Dude, for real, that's all anyone wearing. It's so weird. Yeah, like, like axe or uh, what's the other Old one? Spice. Old Spice. Yeah. That's all it smelled like, dude. It was, it was horrible. Yeah, so so this guy comes up with the with the apple juice in his hand. And he's like, who threw it? And I'm like, not, I didn't hear him at first. I was just changing, trying to get out of there. And finally, um, I throw my backpack on because I'm on, like, like, I'm about to get finished changing. I turn yeah. around and... And I see Jake pointing at me, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, what's up? And he's like, he's like, I wouldn't turn around if I were you. I'm like, why? I turn around and I see the five six dude, like, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, like, what's the deal? And he's like, did you throw this? I'm like, throw what? And he hands me the juice box. I'm like, you for real picked it up? I was like, no, I've never seen this before. <laughs> I was like, I know, I've never seen it. He's like, well, he's saying you threw. I'm like, who? He points at Jake. I'm like, bro, you're a snitch. But I didn't even do it. I was like what that's so fake so this kid's pointing at me and he's like so you did throw it and i was like nope i didn't wasn't me i don't know who did because i'm not a snitch like that i'm a real one i'm not gonna snitch him out just because he snitched me out and i have my homie right there the one that i just went to downtown with um yeah. where we're standing there and he's like he's like laughing about the situation the senior trying to get up in my face um i was kind of standing there he's like he's like what you think it's funny i'm, not, I'm like i'm not even laughing like, i was like most blank expression ever i just couldn't care i just want to leave the locker room because it smells in there <laughs> i'm just trying to leave so he's like he's like so what are you gonna do about it i'm like what do you mean am i gonna do about it it's already thrown oh let me just unthrow it real quick my bad like with the name uh, tanner you better relax bro <laughs> tanner, that was his name? yeah are you serious with the name tanner you better relax you were oh you're the God. kid from kim possible chill out <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> dude, speaking about list. smells, <laughs> this guy, dude, oh my god, after every fucking PE class, what? he smelled sour Really? Fuck. Really? Yes, dude, it didn't even, like, stink like sweat, he was sour. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Nah, he wasn't like, sweaty, he was sour. No, he smelled sour, dude. What does that like, mean? It burnt. <laughs> when you fucking took a breath like one of my friends he would literally tear up of how <laughs> sour he would smell it what? was nasty yes dude like literally he smelled like uh like garlic like gar but, <laughs> but like three times worse oh like my. it would burn your nostrils for real yeah can't believe that bro well nah, dude, that guy and did he like Something did he like try hard <laughs> did he like try hard during PE? Was he like the like the very athletic type or was he just like ran three minutes and was like oh sour? Well he was he's the one in wrestling. So oh was, Okay. So I mean I guess try hard to yeah, PE. Yeah, like he would run his he would run like he wouldn't do it like uh to see what like his personal best would be or whatever. Like he would just take it easy. Yeah. But he would smell really bad. There, there's this one guy that I used to go to school with. No, he's he was the same way as this wrestling guy, but he didn't he didn't work out nothing. Just, but and it's not like he ran for a bit and he smelled like that. He just constantly smelled like that. And uh, <laughs> no, yeah, 
Um, not not exactly sour. It was just nasty. Like I don't know what you mean by sour. It didn't burn to stand next to him. It didn't burn. It no, just like, was gross. That shit burnt your nose, dude. <laughs> you you had to be there in the moment, dude. Yeah. So so after I left um my first school, I transferred over, and uh, first week there on Wednesdays we start late. For whatever reason, we go in at nine thirty. Oh yeah yeah. So um so I'm there with Adam. Me and Adam are just walking around, whatever. Mm -hmm. And there's this kid that we don't really like, but I also don't like when people are getting picked on for unnecessary reasons. Yeah. So even though I don't like this kid, I'm still going to step in and be like, hey, yo, like, maybe you shouldn't do that. Just give him a little warning. Because mm -hmm. I'm new there, so, you know, got to set an example, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, this kid's probably like 6'3", but I'm not scared of him because he couldn't do anything regardless. Like, yeah. He has height and that's it. That's all. And the smell. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that that's very important. So so he's picking on this kid. I'm like, hey yo, like what's going on? Like like what are you doing? Like it's not like he's in his face. He's yelling at him from across, slowly got slowly getting closer to him. I'm like I'm like, hey yo, is everything alright? He's like, No, he's yelling at me, da, da, da. he's upset for whatever reason. I go talk to him. And he starts getting in my face like he's gonna do something. And like I like like Ugh. Like, <laughs> he got goes like, oh, like, like audibly, <laughs> and I was eating, I was eating munchies, bro. <laughs> so, so I was like, I was like, man, forget this. Now I gotta throw it out. I lost my appetite. So before yeah. I throw it out, though, I'm like, I'm like he's like threatening me and whatever. And I don't like, I'm willing to get down with this guy. I'm just not gonna throw no first punch over something that I'm, I don't know what's going on. Oh, Adam's yeah. trying to get me away from him, and um, and as I'm about to throw away the munchies, which is the trash can is behind him. I have to pass him, so I'm like, I'm like, before I throw it away, I'm like, hey, you want some? While he's like threatening me and everything, and he's like, yeah. I don't want none of your munchies. And I'm like, okay, bro, relax. I just didn't want to waste any food. I just throw it in the, <laughs> throw it in the bin, and he looks over at it like, like I, offended him or something, and he's like, he's like, you actually threw him away. I'm like, oh my god, I know this kid did not just go from threatening me because I'm th stepping in the middle of something to being upset because I threw away food. Oh my god. It, it was. Good or what? Yeah. Yeah. So that, that explains it, I guess. So like, I wasn't one to back down. So as as he kept on getting in my face, I was like, "Look, if you're gonna do something, I'll continue standing here. I'm not gonna move from this spot. Throw a punch. Watch what will happen. We'll leave it at that. You can decide what you want to do." And he's like, he's yelling at me, or whatever. And after he stopped giving me responses, Adam trying to still get me to back up, and yeah. and I'm like, I'm not backing up. I don't see a point. And he's like, and finally he just goes whatever you're not even worth my time i was like i'm not worth your time i wasted 10 minutes of my time standing here to make a point then he walks away and that was the end of it first week there almost got in a fight for god knows why i still don't even know the reason of why that kid was getting yelled at i was like whatever no oh, i see but then adam how long have we been talking for it's been 48 minutes 48 minutes yeah but straight talking adam never lets me um interfere with things now because because i don't i don't like when people get picked on like that are my homies and stuff like that especially if they're my friends like I just, it's annoying your homies my homies bro. but other than that i couldn't care less if it's like if they're talking to me i'm like okay whatever oh well which is why yeah. when we were in downtown <laughs> when we were in downtown that's why i couldn't care less about what they said yeah but her friend over there to get into a fence yeah i got so heated even the next day just mentioned it was so heated about it yeah i was like but, it was it was interesting to say the least it was uh, very interesting i mean it was kind of funny in a way because like we talked about um there's like times when she does care and then times when she doesn't yeah 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 right yeah Okay. We're not gonna disclose. <laughs> no, no, it's just, it's just like you know what? Pick a struggle, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. I was like, like, no, no. I mean, is it not apparent that I care? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> downtown was fun regardless. I just had a massive headache the whole time we were there, and um. You literally got scammed into buying, um, what was that? Soap stuff. Oh my god, yeah. 
I still use it. For real? Yeah, How much was it? Uh, fuck. I think it was like 60 bucks. For what? A small container? For it was the the scrub, some oil, and some uh, some like body wash type of thing. No, no. Um, yeah, but it's because the girl was like, um, it's good for your tattoos or whatever. Oh, that's what sold it? Well, she saw my <laughs> arm covered in tats, so I'm guessing she was like, oh, you know. She told me, she's like, oh, it's good for your tattoos. I use it on my tattoos all the time. You didn't have tattoos. So I was like, yeah, she did. She had one. <laughs> <laughs> she literally had one. She didn't have any visible, like, on her arm, though. No, she, she like, had to lift up her shirt. Like, not her, like. Yeah, I get like it. Like her sleeve, her sleeve. Yeah. But I was like, all right then, cause she was like, oh, it takes off like the the layer of dirt, or whatever. You literally got baited into buying oils. <laughs> Probably did. But, <laughs> I mean, my skin be feeling fucking nice, all soft and shit. <laughs> but it's whatever. I mean, I still use it. It's not like it's just a waste of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. No, but what, we went through elementary school, middle school, and high school? My high school life's pretty boring yeah. right now, though, not gonna lie. I mean, well, being as... still got that, that bet with Adam. Oh, yeah, yeah, that bet. I'm gonna make it happen somehow. Have you, like, hit her up or anything? No. I'll no. start once school starts. <laughs> what? It's gonna be well, funny. You have to, like, hit her up eventually. Okay, then... just, just to make it clear, me and Adam made a bet. Jokingly, I jokingly was willing just to lose $50 just to hear his reaction. That I could get Olivia Rodrigo to go to prom with me. It was the most, like, unbelievable thing to happen. And it's not going to happen. But I go, I go, okay, $50, I can get her to go with me. And he starts flipping out. I, I already got the reaction I wanted. I, it can end there. I got the reaction I wanted from him. And he goes, yeah. he goes, five hundred dollars. I'll give you five hundred dollars if you can get her to go with you. I'm like, this kid didn't even say I have to give him five hundred dollars. He just said five hundred dollars. I'll give you if she goes. Like, okay, I guess. So, I'm become those TikTokers that are like day one, <laughs> day one of like I don't know. It would just be funny though. Like, be like what if hey. she does actually end up hitting you back? Then she, I got a like, oh, I got yeah, a I'll date go to the prom. prom. That is crazy. What if at the time you like get a girlfriend or something? Sacrifice stuff to be made. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. Yeah, right. Five hundred dollars and a chance to Olivia meet. Rodrigo. Yeah, a chance to meet Olivia Rodrigo. My you know, bad, bro. Doubt at the fact that we could have gone to her. I didn't know. Her thing. I didn't know. It I was... didn't know either. I was on Tic Tac and then I saw it. No, I don't, I mean, the live was good. I was just, I thought it was going to be actually live, not pre-recorded than her viewing it from somewhere else. Well, at first, it, she was, it was live, like she was answering questions and stuff. Yeah, I missed that because I was mounting my TV to the wall. Hey, that's your problem. So did you find I'm out if she had a boyfriend? Uh, she doesn't have a boyfriend. I don't think she does. All right, all right. Yeah, so, you know, you... Shoot your shot. You got so much game or whatever. I got good game. Good, yeah, good game. <laughs> what? Good game. Yeah, good game. <laughs> good game. <laughs> no, but I mean, making that bet happen would be hilarious. It would be. Just because could, his reaction would be priceless. Yeah, I don't care about no five hundred dollars anymore. It's like at that point, if it happens, his face. His expression, he said that he would go home if she showed up. That he would just leave prom if that um, happened. I feel like if it does end up happening, he probably won't. Like, uh, how would I put it? Like, people would be all over you guys. You get me? She's nah. So nah, only like, what? A million followers. A million? Are you serious? <laughs> how many followers does she have? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure she has way more than that. Let me see. So, on Instagram. Oh, 14 million followers. <laughs> 14 million. Yep. Yeah, no shot that that, that, that happens. Yeah. You're one in 14.3 million people. Hey. 
Just got off photo for an end game, bro. What are the chances of her hitting you up, dude? Got to ask Doctor Strange, bro. Like he, he'll know. <laughs> I need he'll to watch know. uh Loki. I need to buy Disney Plus again. You can so always just say use a very uh, very legal website to watch those shows. I mean, yeah, I can, but I'm not trying to get no virus on my <laughs> computer. <laughs> I used to do that on my mom's computer, and it kind of died. Yeah, yeah, sure. It was because of that. Yeah, it was because of that. Yeah, sure. That's what they all say. <laughs> I've never had my computer get a virus. No, I had... Because, um... So, you know those, uh... Those, like, weird generators? For, like, a... Because I used to go on... On, uh... I used to play Clash of Clans. Oh my Hello. god. You try to get free gems? Yeah, those generators where you like have to This your, kid. Your uh your little gamer tag and everything? Yeah. Dude, I would get so many viruses off of that. Oh my god. To this the point dude. where the computer was not responding at all. I can't believe you. I mean, you had to get your priorities straight, dude. I didn't have money for the gym. Gotta get gym somehow. Yeah, I was trying to upgrade my town hall. Dang. Now well, let's see what what have we covered today? Elementary school, middle school, high school. Eh, I'm not really excited to go back, but it'll be a interesting thing. Um, we talked a little bit about downtown. I feel like we can talk about it more in, in I mean, the future. Really happened. Yeah, I know, but it was just fun overall. I mean, oh, when we try to get on the roof that that she thought we can get on. Well, yeah. And then we go in, just go up one floor on the elevator, then just go back down. We go up the stairs, and then the elevator just takes us right, right back down the first floor. I swear to God, I thought the elevator doors were gonna open, and there were gonna be like two bouncers there, just two <laughs> just bouncers? standing there. Are you serious? Yeah, like like just two bodyguards or security or whatever, just standing there waiting for us to come back down because we didn't have no key card. <laughs> I really doubt that would have happened. Did you see that place? It was like fancy, it was fancy. fancy. I was dressed in what? I think sweatpants. Uh, I don't remember. She was like, "Act like you belong." Sorry, what? Yeah. I had my I, skateboard I in hand. I was dressed and stuff. Yeah, I had my skateboard I in hand. Not belong there. <laughs> yeah, maybe, like maybe her, cause her style is pretty. Uh, I don't want to say unique, but she has style. That this but girl don't. style. Yeah, this <laughs> <girl>. <laughs> but uh, that other building she took us through, dude. I, I felt like we were not supposed to be up there. No, we were not. We, yes, where the where the vents are, we're supposed to be. Yeah, where all the and ventilation there a, is. There was a worker up there with us too. They walked away after they saw us, though. They were like, "I don't get paid enough for this." Yeah, but I don't know. It felt like. We were about to do some illegal shit up there. We were just taking pictures, though. I mean, uh, yeah, but if someone looks up and fucking sees three people, yeah, going across roof roofs, um, I don't think they're gonna think. I got. Pictures. I got a total of like eighteen pictures. I needed um forty. Wow. I got eighteen, and one of them was. Um, well, I only used four of them, though, because I needed 40 is what I thought. And then I go to turn in the final project, and the day before it's due, I get in class, and he's like, don't forget to turn in your three best photos. I'm like, I'm sorry, what? Three? <laughs> You're over here with 40 pictures. I had 18, but <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, three? Three, three pictures? And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like... He's like, yeah, you only need to turn in three of your best photos. I was like, oh, last yeah. time we needed our three, like three best, and then a twenty photo spreadsheet. And he's like, nah, it's too much work this time. Da da. You can just do three photos. I was like, what? I wish I, wish I had a, a class like that. Like, digital, like photography. Yeah. Sucks. I kind of try to get into like videotaping and stuff when I. Uh... When I started to try to skate, yeah, 
I just I wasn't good at it, so I pretty much just became like the filmer of my group. My hands are too shaky for that. I'm the kid that records the fight with the phone vertical and all shaky. <laughs> no, I mean, I I ended up getting um like one of those cam holders. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the one where it has a little sleeve and you put your arm through or your hand through it, right? No, I had a. No, you had a tripod. The tripod. There you go. Oh my god, this dude. Yeah, and I ended up buying uh, what's it called? A Canon. A Canon to camera. Record and yeah. And how'd to that go? And stuff. Uh, I mean, I used it a couple times, but then we like, everyone got kicked out of school. <laughs> we, disbanded. we disbanded. We <laughs> disbanded. Yeah, so like everyone got like kicked down. We went to separate schools and stuff, so we just like never hung out again. Yeah. But like I still have my, my tripod and my camera in the back just chilling. That's dope. But no, I, I want to go to I don't really want to go to downtown again. I feel like once you go there once, there I don't know what else there is to do there. I think I only went there twice. Before you guys, mm, that was like my, that was my second time, yeah. Cause I don't, there's like no reason for me to go. Yeah, for real. But the then only times that I've gone, it's just for the, uh, the, what was it? It was some festival. Oh, I think I know which one, probably. But there no. Was a Christmas one and a different one. But oh, I don't then I don't have no clue. <laughs> No, and then the movies is cool and all, but there's no good movies. Not really. The purge the was purge. awful. Nah, the guy was really gonna clap some cheeks, but never got the chance to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can't lie, like that scene. Oh, I found peanut butter. <laughs> it looks like you found a jelly. Like, what? You know that they were about to get down if they had the like private privacy yeah i mean i and guess end up signed, like what the fuck yeah i don't know it was, the movie was was more of a comedy it was just amazing that like she was terrified the whole time we were watching it yeah it was pretty funny she would be like, calling things out a scary movie or anything yeah she would be calling things out she'd be like it's right behind you right behind you and then the guy would appear from behind and she would scream like what yeah i know like she's like expecting it but Still get scared by it. Dude, the first time it wasn't even anything scary. It was just something like jump scared the screen and that was it. <laughs> All three of our seats vibrated. Really? Dude, like she she like when she got scared, she grabbed onto the the armrest and I was like I was like I was like about to fall asleep and I'll like over I'm like, what happened? And and she's there like like scared. I'm like, what? Like yeah, well, she was being she was being pretty loud, and then I kept telling her to like keep it down because there was people in there. It was two people, and that's no, it. No, it was like three or four. Whatever, same I, difference. I don't think you guys saw them when we came in, but I could see. It was pitch black when we went in. What are you talking no, about? No, dude, because they were, okay, it might sound racist, but they were white, and when <laughs> the light from the screen would shine on them, their foreheads would like shine. We were on the top little. row. I couldn't see anyone. No, when we were like coming up the stairs. Oh, yeah, I guess. That's when I noticed them. And then, yeah, um, whatever, I'm gonna, Luna would just scream and commentate the whole movie. <laughs> it was when funny, I'm though. watch it. It was funny. Yeah, I guess it's pretty funny, but we should watch, we should have watched The, uh, The Conjuring. I told you, that seems more like a couple movie. A couple movies, really? Mainly because I've only seen couple go, uh, couples go and watch it. Yeah, I went with my ex, so I can't really say anything. For real, see? Exactly. So I don't it think... It was a good movie overall. Yeah, I don't think I'm able to watch it. <laughs> that was a great storyline, you know. Everything went so well. I'll never know. Hey, maybe you should... I don't know. They, you never know. Yeah, say it. Nah, I'm not gonna say, say it. <laughs> Come on. No, I don't even think that movie's out anymore, so you don't gotta worry about it. Take who? Huh? Take who? Irrelevant. 
Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. No, I think the movie's still showing for like another week or so. Well, because they weren't even going to show The Purge. Yeah, later the movie on was week. trash. Ratings are probably awful on it. Dude, it, well, it. I mean, it was just us and the other people. Ex in there. Exactly. No one else was in there. Uh, for, from what I know, the movie came out like a week or two ago. And it already died down like that. While Fast 9 was out for, I think, the same amount of time. We went to go watch Fast 9. It was packed. It was like really? endgame level packed. What the fuck? Yeah, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? Why are there so many people here? The movie was awful. Like, it oh. was. I'm not going to lie. It was very disappointing. No, yeah, for real. Like, I don't know. I, I expected more. But got more of what I didn't want. Like going to space and shit. Yeah, like they gave us more, but not more in a good way. <laughs> yeah. No, I went. Um. You know when they say less is more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> a family, dude. <laughs> family. It's all about family. Like I don't know. I don't get it. No, I want to go watch uh. Black, Black Widow. Widow. Yup. We need to go watch it. I'm down. But now that I have a. a uh, new job. I don't know when I'm off. Oh, I got four days off this week. <laughs> well, they're trying to get you out of there. Oh, well, I'm gonna stay. Man, that lady does not know how to run a fucking store. She just, oh, well, whatever. Leave it how it is. But... I'm about to call, call OSHA on <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to sue her. Oh, my God. All stupid? No, because, like, when I would work 4 to 12, I would get my half. All at late. like 11, 11.30, yeah. right when I'm about to get off. And then on top of that, I still had to stay longer. Yeah. And then she would complain that I, I was getting overtime. <laughs> what? Yeah, like it wasn't my fault. She was the one keeping me there. Like she would tell me like, oh, you're going to wait longer because I'm going to go take my break. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I don't even get that luxury to sit down for 10 minutes. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's interesting working there. I don't really mind. Nah, it was better when Arlene was there. I'm honest. Oh, one hundred percent. It's funny because uh, before she left, we were all like, "Yeah, man, we don't really know how we feel about her. We yeah, don't really like her." We were, and then we she were left. We're like, "Keep talking shit about her." And then she and then left. We're like, "We want her back." Yeah. I remember I went to go pick because remember when she canceled the truck. Yeah. I didn't have anything. I had to go to her store, and I was telling her about it. And I was like, "Oh, you know, you should like come back for like a couple couple weeks or so." <laughs> She's like, "Oh, I would if I could." Yeah. Like, you should just come over to my store, but we couldn't. Yeah. The supervisor didn't let us. Oh well, it is what it is. I guess it is what it is. Anyways, um, we are now at. An hour and seven minutes. So do you want to end it there? I mean, sure. I mean, I feel like we covered quite a bit, and we relatively kept it to. I mean, I I now know things that I didn't know before. So about you in school. So. What do you mean? I didn't know you had your first girl, your your first girlfriend at fourth grade. I don't know if you can consider yeah. like a girlfriend, but yeah, Tell I guess. Me. Dude, I had a lot. I didn't really have a lot, but I had a lot of girlfriends. My bad, Tintin, bro. Told you, you got a line. I don't got a line, dude. Anyway. Who is in line? No Anyways, one's in line. I think that is the point where it is all right to end episode uh, zero, right? Episode zero, yeah. Episode zero. When I feel like we covered quite a bit. And it was pretty fun. I mean. Yeah, it was. For the first episode or whatever you want to call it. Episode zero. It sounds cooler. <laughs> it sounds okay. cooler. But when we post it, it's going to be our I'm going to label it as episode zero. Oh. All right. I told it's, you. It sounds cooler. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Let's just let's just keep it at that, right? Yeah, we'll just keep we it good? at that. Just end it there. All right. Then next time. Next time it is.